watching El Paso Mayor Oscar Leeser being escorted from City Hall Chambers as sh shouts erupt. This after he broke a tie vote and voted down an ordinance that would have directed city leaders to create a policy to deprioritize abortion investigations. A very heated and emotional City Council session this afternoon, ending with protests outside City Hall. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Natasha Paloma. And I'm Andy Morgan. KTSM 9 News reporter Stephanie Shields has been at City Council all day covering this item for us. Let's go to Stephanie live with how Council voted. And Stephanie, there was a deciding vote in all of this. Yes, that's right, Andy. Now, an item seeking to decriminalize abortion here in El Paso, failing after Mayor Oscar Leeser tie-breaking vote was against that item. Now, that led to some upset reaction, people shouting at the mayor, then following out with a protest outside here of City Hall. Take a listen. Recall Leeser! Recall Leeser! Now, groups of pro-choice advocates protesting the decision to vote against an item seeking to create policy against using tax dollars on abortion investigations. After about four hours of emotional, intense public comment, council members making that decision. Police then escorting the mayor outside of council chambers after he broke the tie, failing to pass the item, with people then shouting shame at the mayor. Dora Oaxaca, the El Paso County Democratic Chair, upset with Mayor Leeser, saying he asked for the party's endorsement when campaigning for mayor, but yet failed to vote in support of today's item. This was a simple, straightforward policy to come back and let the, the council know how to move forward with that. He instilled whatever he did. It was a slap on women's fa uh, on a woman's face. I voted that, you know, I respect everybody. I respect everyone's opinion, and everybody has the rights. But at the end of the day, we are governed by the state of Texas, and we do have to follow state and federal law. There's uh, we we can write a resolution, but at the end of the day. We now, earlier during the discussion, City Manager Tommy Gonzalez told Council that regardless of the way they vote, state and federal law takes precedence. And when Council asked El Paso Police Chief Greg Allen his thoughts, he said he was not for the item which would make abortion-related investigations the lowest priority for EPPD. And Mayor Oscar Leeser did come back from recess to explain the reasoning behind his vote, to which Representative Alexandra Anala said it was unfair because they couldn't comment in response or speak about an item that was already voted on. Andy, back to you. Yeah, and Stephanie, with this item, uh, motion now failed. What's the next move here? Are council members already planning on any other efforts as it pertains to abortion? Well, it does not appear so at this time. City Attorney Carla Neiman did tell council that there is still pending litigation on whether an old abortion ban law could go into effect, as well as the enforcement of that law. And that hearing is set for July 12th. Back to you. Stephanie Shields live for us tonight at City Hall. Stephanie, thank you.